Hi folks, it's Teresa, Stringfield Ridge Farm. Um, I've been working on that herb garden that is uh, also a potage garden, a cottage garden a lot of people call them. Um, I'm calling it an herb garden because it's going to have a lot of herbs, also a lot of flowers and some vegetables. So it's kind of an all-in-one, but mainly I am um, <clears throat> putting a lot of... Uh, of um, features in it. Uh, I'm doing the uh, TP pole beans and I've done a little trellis and uh, I've got all kinds of uh, just um, old, old whatnots and benches and crates and buckets and things that uh, come from the barns on our property and uh, some of it my daughter uh, brought me she has a barn on her property and she brought me some of it and uh, so I'm gonna show you what I got going on so far it's a long way from being finished and um, I I've worked just a few weekends at it because I don't have a lot of time to work at it so this year it may not be what I want it to be but it will be um, headed in the right direction. It's kind of an old antique um, cottage garden, um, herb garden. It's got antique features and a lot of old rusty features. So, uh, Lee has um, built me a fence around it. You've seen some of the fence in an earlier video. And uh, he's not quite finished with the um, with the um, twigs that are going around it but he went ahead and fenced it in with the chicken wire so that I could go ahead and use it and keep the chickens out and uh, he built me a cute little gate I'm closing my gate hang on I'm closing my gate so that I can go back and show that uh, closed so I'm fixing to give you a little quick tour of my herb garden uh, or cottage garden and um, Okay, so we're going to call it Cottage Herb Garden. How about that? I'm going to show you my Cottage Herb Garden. And, um, but, uh, and it's nowhere near done. Uh, I am working currently, today, I'm working on a female scarecrow to put in it. I'm also, <clears throat> I'm also working on an old mailbox that I'm going to paint up to put my like gloves and um, garden tools and things in. I don't know how well that's going to go because uh, I'm still going to do it. But uh, so I, I mentioned it on Facebook and someone said they had done that before and ended up having um, ants or something in it. And uh, so we'll see how that goes. I'm still going to do it and then see. And if I start getting ants and things in it, it'll just sit there. It won't have my... Uh, gloves and things in it. So we'll see how that goes. But here you go. I'm fixing to turn you around and uh, and come walking up on it and give you a shot of it. Okay, so there it is. There is my cottage herb garden. Uh, just keep in mind it's nowhere near finished. I have uh, old and I don't have it all planted either. A lot of stuff is still in the greenhouse. I've got to get out here. And then some things have just been planted from seed that are not coming up yet. Uh, some are coming up a little. So here we go. I'm going to show you. Uh, there's a bed frame that uh, beans are going to climb on. And here we go. Here's my little gate up here. Now Lee done the fencing. He done the chicken wire fencing. And he's going to do all of it like that back there with the uh, uh, sticks are going to go all the way around it but we don't have that complete yet because he wanted to go ahead and get it ready for me and it was taking a long time to do the twigs so it actually may be next year before we have all the twigs all the way around but then i have a little twig gate and uh, we realize that uh, this is not something that's going to last forever uh, it'll be a work in progress we'll probably have to replace the little gate eventually and that's fine there's my little arbor it's just made out of um, branches that won't last forever we'll have to replace that 
Then you've got the um, TP poles that green beans are going to climb on. And uh, the green beans are starting to come up around the bottom of it. We have two of those <clears throat> with green beans coming up around. So that bed post has some uh, pole beans that are, uh, they're actually short. They're a type of bean that is bush with a tendency to climb. So that's what is planted down there around that. And it's coming up. I'll go down there and show that. They are coming up there. Right through there is, uh, they are a bush bean with a tendency to climb. So I put them there so they could kind of be tied up to that somewhat. I've got several lettuces in several different spots. There and there. There's a couple tomatoes back there. Let's see, I'm gonna step across and make sure I don't step on anything that's already planted. There's some Thai basil that something is already eating on, y'all. I hadn't even noticed. It's ants. There are some ants already eating on that, so I will be getting out the DE after a while. I have a big bag of DE. I'm fixing to get that out because something's already eating on the Thai basil. So, hmm. And, um, let's see. I have an old feeder, old, old uh, poultry feeder, and um, I have planted zinnias all through. There's a couple of basil. There's a couple of basils. Um, there's some cabbages, and um, let's see, some little old chairs. These are little old school chairs out of a school. I have some stuff planted in buckets and uh, more cabbages around the stump and there is a one of my tomatoes that is the uh, that is a it's a black tomato I can't remember the name of it I will put it across here I'm not good at names of all these different types yet I have always planted the same old boring thing we've always planted uh, red tomatoes that were either early girl or beef steak. That's what we always got and always planted. And we've always planted uh, Kentucky Wonder Green Beans. Uh, you know, the same old uh, variety we've always gotten over and over. Just thinking, well, that's what we like and that's the one that works well for us and we just keep getting it. This is the first year I'm trying a variety of colors. I've gotten an orange tomato, a black tomato, a chocolate striped tomato, and um, different kinds of uh, cabbages. I got a red cabbage instead of just green this year. I got red, a red cabbage and a green cabbage. I got all these different lettuces. I usually just get a, a plain old um, um, bib lettuce. You know, that's just what we've always done, a red radishes. This year I have um, the red radishes and the white daikon radishes. And I have a special radish, radish that is uh, purple and red that I got from um, a Baker's Creek, some Baker's Creek seeds. Uh, they're out in the big garden. Because I wasn't thinking, I wasn't sure the radishes would do real good in here. And we have a, this is not a tilled garden. It was tilled once and now it has uh, back to Eden. It's got the wood chips back to Eden. So that's why I'm going up with a lot of it and doing it in pots and planters because it's not, uh, it's not very deep with the mulch and it hasn't been tilled a lot. So we're kind of going with stuff that's above ground and using planters and things in here. And so I did put the radishes in the big garden except for these. I have some radishes I put in here and they are actually are doing quite well. Those are ready to pull. There's not a lot of them ready to pull, but several are. So, they actually done better than I expected in there. And different types of lettuces, like I mentioned. And um, there's my beans, my pole beans. It's going to climb on this 
TP. There's my comfrey I got from uh, Granny B. And uh, I put some uh, some greens in this in this skillet. Uh, this is a tomato in a bucket. It's just one of the volunteer tomatoes that came up in um, planter that I had just sliced tomato and, and put in the planter. And I'm pretty sure those are just, um, uh, I believe those were the uh, cherry tomatoes. So that should be a volunteer cherry tomato. And here on this uh, bed post, I have a cucumber. And that is a, a, a kind of a um, climbing cucumber. It's a round cucumber. I never pronounce it right, so I will just um, type that across here for you to see. I have several of those planted. This one is gonna climb on this bed post. There's some garlic. We had garlic already in this bed before I even started um, taking it over as an herb garden. And uh, I have more zinnias coming up all along the back side of everything. And a sunflower. I planted several sunflowers. I only see one coming up so far. So, there we go. And uh, nasturtium. I have, uh, I bought that one, but I have a lot of nasturtium coming up in the greenhouse that I need to move out here. And most of them are uh, jewel. Jewel nasturtium which is all different colors that one I got at the FFA uh, greenhouse and uh, I was trying to find more sunflowers but I don't see any more sunflowers coming up so I may have to replant some of that but um, there's your quick look at the uh, start of the cottage herb garden. I'm gonna put up my female scarecrow and my, um, my little mailbox and uh, plant some more stuff. There's lots more stuff in the greenhouse that needs to come out here. When I get my scare lady out here, I will uh, show some more of it. So, thank you for watching. Give us a thumbs up and a comment. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and watch us on uh, Friday nights.